This is the old churchyard and ruins of the old church at Largs. This section here is known as the Skelmily Isle, named after the Montgomerys of Skelmily. This is the Brisbane Mausoleum. The wall in the distance, standing by itself, appears to be a remnant of the church that was demolished in 1802, whilst this aisle was added to the original church in about 1636 by Sir Robert Montgomery of Skelmily and his wife Margaret Montgomery. She, had been, she was a Douglas of Drumnanrig, a very powerful family. Now Sir Robert was responsible for at least two murders. He killed, shot the commendator of Kewinning Abbey outside his bishop's palace at Montgreenan. And he also cut to pieces John Cunningham of Clonbeath, who had murdered the fourth Earl of Eggington, who was a Montgomery. So constructing this aisle and the fact that he spent an enormous amount of time praying here after his wife had died suggests that he was in mortal fear of going to hell. But he practically spent so much time praying that he is equivalent to have already entombed himself. His wife had been a particular beauty and died in her fifties having been kicked by a horse. Both himself and his wife are buried here in the crypt in lead coffins. Uh, his lead coffin has a lot of the lead missing from the end of it. It's said that the local fishermen took it to weigh their nets in the belief that it would prevent uh, storms and certainly it would uh, encourage uh, a good catch. It's also said that uh, Sir Hugh Montgomery, the uh, hero of Otterburn or um, Battle of Chevy Chase, from Paul Noon at Eaglesham was also buried here. But there was no lead tomb. All there is is a, a box of bones that was found at the time of the restoration of the church in uh, 1898. The magnificent tomb inside is supposed to have been constructed in 1636. Uh, although there is a, a date on it, a 1639, presuming its completion date. It's of a Renaissance style, quite magnificent, but not the only one in terms of uh, Duristia Church, down by Dramlanrig, for instance, has, a, has another magnificent um, carved tomb. So the original church here was demolished in 1802, so this has survived ever since. The paintings on the wooden barrel-shaped roof inside are quite magnificent. Uh, they have uh, a whole series of scenes, they have the um, seasons portrayed. There's even one that appears to show a very early form of the game of curling on ice. There's the signs of the zodiac and various other uh, features of, of interest from the time, plus there are quotations from the Geneva Bible.